everyone, this is uh, Michael from Kendall World. Um, please welcome to another edition of KED Talks. Uh, if you can remember recently, we actually went to the Senbatsu Taikai uh, for high school students in Okinawa. Uh, the final was a very close encounter between Kyushu Gakuen of uh, Kyushu and Toin Gakuen of uh, Yokohama. Uh, unfortunately for me, uh, Toin Gakuen didn't win. Uh, it's a school that I've worked at. Um, but obviously, uh, both Kyushu Gakuen and Toin Gakuen are some of the strongest high school kendo teams in Japan. After that, I thought I'd reach out to a graduate of Toin Gakuen, uh, who was there several years ago and uh, who I also used to actually teach English to, and thought we'd talk to him about uh, the high school kendo situation in Japan. What's a typical training? Why is Toin Gakuen so good? So with that in mind, um, Today, we'll be talking to 29-year-old Tabata Ko from Kanagawa Prefecture in Japan. Uh, he, as I said before, he was a graduate of uh, Toin Gakuen High School, and uh, now he's working in finance. So, uh, Tabata Ko, or Ko, please uh, welcome to KED Talks. How are you? Good. Thank you very much for having me today, everyone. Yeah, Great. no problem. Uh, yeah, we're really interested to see uh, about what the high school kendo is like uh, in Japan. Obviously, uh, the, the the clip of the the um, tournament, the Senbatsu Taikai, was uh, you know very popular on YouTube. So that's why we thought we'd talk to you today. So, but before we get into the high school uh, talk, can you give us a bit about your your history in in kendo? Like, when did you start it, and why did you start it? Things like that. Okay, okay. So uh, once again, my name is Kota Bata and I'm from uh, Toin Gakuen and uh, I went to uh, the Inter High uh, Finals uh, back in uh, 10 years ago. I'm getting old, but uh, just briefly, uh, let me tell you the, my kendo history uh, in this. So when I, was, uh, when I was three years old, I started a kendo because my father was a teacher at uh, Junior High and also he has uh, he had a kendo club there. So he has not been doing the kendo before, but uh, he has just, you know, selected to be a teacher of kendo at the junior high school. Then he started, then he just picked me up and go together back in uh, 26 years ago. So three, kendo started three, at three years ago, uh, no, three years age, which is pretty early, even in Japan. It's not pretty common. So basically, uh, kids uh, have started a kendo around the five and six, or let's say uh, elementary school kids, like seven and eight. But my case was uh, a little different. Dad was kendo teacher and brought me to the uh, dojo. That's the very starting point. But uh, then uh, very unfortunately, my dad was uh, dead at the, uh, while he was doing a kendo due uh, to heart attack. So this, I mean, 27 years ago. And wow. also we, we, 27 years ago. How old were you at that time when your father died? When I was three. Oh, wow. That's really just, tough. I just started the kendo like six months. And uh, after the, my, uh, like kids, kids school, like kendo school, then they are doing like, you know, adult themes. And uh, then I just say goodbye to that, dad at the uh, gym. And I went back home and uh, like 30 minutes later, something like that happened. I was okay back in the time. So uh, even I was three years old, I feel that mm, kendo, is, kendo is my spirit. Like I got to do something uh, for my dad. Then a uh, very uh, young age, but still I remember that uh, I uh, pr um, stick to kendo and try to be uh, winners. So mom also uh, thought the same way. So my case, uh, kendo was everything since three years old. That's the thing. When, but uh, even I say so, it's super difficult to win the kendo in Japan since many kids uh, have been doing and all over the country. I've been doing the kendo uh, very hard, but uh, in uh, elementary school, I couldn't win as much as I expected. But uh, in order to uh, be number one Kindle player in Japan, 
oh, we have to go to school. Oh, we have to number one school. Then that was uh, Toin Gakuen, back in the uh, 15 years ago. So that was, you, you went to Toin Gakuen, not elementary school. You joined them from junior high school. That's right? Yes, sir. So how old were you then? That was 11 or 12? Yes, uh, when I was 11, I decided to uh, go to uh, Toin Gakuen. And what was the reason why you decided to go to uh, Toin Gakuen Junior High School? Good question. So Toin Gakuen Junior High School uh, does not really have a good kindle team. However, uh, Toin Gakuen was a really good school. They have a uh, small school. And also kindle is the strongest in the country. So in order to be in the part of the team, I have to uh, win the kindle like uh, number one in Japan at the junior high school or to go to junior high school to go to a high school eventually. So that's the plan. And I chose the second way, uh, high possibility. And also I couldn't study there too. So, so you, your plan was obviously to, to graduate from the junior high school and get into the high school that way yep. r- rather than, um, you know, trying to win a junior high school level tournament or national championship so you would be able to, to go in. Okay. Correct. Uh, like in my town, uh, we actually did not have a great, great dojo there. So, you know, uh, for kids uh, to win, uh, they have to have a good sensei and strong dojos. And so those environment has to be settled. So that's the... Uh, uh, biggest reason uh, I didn't uh, go well at the moment, but I chose to go to junior high school and also to go to high school. That's so great. you started in uh, Toingakuen Junior High School in 2003 or four, was it? Four. 2004. 2004. Okay. Yep. And uh, I think it was around that time, wasn't it? 2002 and 2003. That the 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 Toin High School won the Inter High Tournament two years in a row. Was that two thousand two and three or three and four? Two and two and three. So two thousand two and two thousand three, they won the, which is 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 kind of rare for a, for a school to win it two years in a row. I mean, yes, it's hard, sir. hard enough to win it once, <laughs> never mind twice in a row. Yeah, exactly right. So I watched it. Uh, then I found out, okay, that was the school I would like to go. And also I want to be the one of the members there. That's a very big moment that you said, uh, 2002 and three also, doing okay, uh, won the number one. Mm-hmm. So you then entered the uh, junior high school then in 2003? Yes, sir. 2003? Yeah. So uh, how was the, the junior high school uh, training in Kent? Okay. Uh, normally, we, we have five days a week, four to six o'clock, Monday, Tuesday, uh, practice, Wednesday off and Thursday, Friday, something like this. And we have uh, Saturday uh, trainings or Sunday a competition, something like this. So two hours a day, like five times a week. That's a pretty common uh, in Japanese junior high uh, kindle practice. Even our school is not super great, uh, not super strong at the moment, but it's pretty common. What was the kind of typical training menu then at uh, in the junior high school? Thank you. So for junior high kids, Usually, uh, we focus on f- focusing on, uh, let's say, kihonguchi, like how to strike and, you know, very correct uh, movement uh, needs to be remembered. So not like uh, competitive wise and hakari geiko, oikomi, something like, not like this, but focusing on a kihonguchi uh, very much. Okay. So I think also what's a big difference between the junior high school and the high school is that for for the junior high school, often quite a lot of the students have absolutely zero experience in in kendo. You know, they're starting for the first time. Not someone I I would say 
I think it's probably uh, talking about half the students were complete beginners. Um, Correct. Half like you had already got some experience, unlike the high school where they're, they're all experienced going. Correct. In. Correct. So was the, what, what would be a, a typical training session then? So you do, you'd say you do your, your Kihonuchi for roughly kind of how long would you be doing that for? Okay. Uh, 10 minutes is warm up and stretch and stuff. And 20 minutes like suburi or, you know, just very basic suburi stuff. And let's say 30 or 45 minutes kihonuchi, kirikaishi a lot, like, like big menuchi, big kote menuchi, like big, big strike is uh, pretty uh, focused, pretty much focused. And also we had Chisai Menuchi, something like those kind of uh, Kihonuchi stuff uh, for 45 minutes. And also we do uh, Kaishi Waza, Suriyage, those kind of uh, little advanced ones also mm -hmm. in the menu. I remember one, one of the exercises that we used to do at the junior high school practice was uh, Pattern Geiko. Yeah. Or, or like, uh, I, I think, well, in English it would be pa Pattern Keiko. Yeah. So if I remember correctly, it was in pairs, you do men, men, kote men, kote men, men, hiki men, men, hiki do, men, hiki kote, men, and then your partner would do the same. And I think it was, I remember sometimes you were doing up to 10 times, like right. all was moving around in a circle. I, was, I mean, I was a lot, oh, I was more than twice the age of a lot of the kids there. It was, it was brutal for me. Yeah. But hard for the kids as well, I'd imagine. Exactly right. That's a pretty uh, common one at the junior high school. Yes. Mm -hmm. So roughly, how how many members were were in the junior high school club back when when you were there? Let's say we had thirty thirty members, uh, like whole whole club. So we have three years, you know, junior high, then uh, ten each, like more than ten each. It's quite big. It's quite big as a, a ju other junior high kendo club. Mm -hmm. Usually they have like 10 or 15. Those are the pretty common, but, but ours is a bigger than usual. Yeah, but Toy Toyngakuen is a pretty big school as well. I think right, right. At, at one point there was, there was I think, almost 10,000 students from, go but that's not junior high school, but going from kindergarten to university, there was... Um, Right. Many. But e even, yeah, 30 kids for a junior high school club, that's that's pretty big. That's that's pretty big. Right. So how, how did the, how did they do in competitions while you were there? How, you mean how well? Like Yeah, yeah. Okay. My my years around there is eight eighth place, eighth or third in the prefecture. So that's the, the prefecture. Kanagawa Prefecture Championships. Correct. Correct. So which is which is okay, like but uh we had let's say how many how many junior high schools we have? Hundred about hundred. Yeah, many way more than that. Or even but, just Yokohama, there's a because hundred uh, Toing Gakuen's in Yokohama, there's loads of junior high schools there. Then you've also got included into that like Kawasaki. Right. Also is in uh, Kanagawa. Yeah, and that's a big city as well. So Okay, in, in the in the prefecture we had uh, three hundred schools, uh, kendo gloves. Then we got the eighth and third, something around there. So it was okay. I mean, good, but it it was not good enough uh, to be the number one in the country. So mm -hmm. that's the problems I I felt like at the moment. Okay, what what was the hardest points then of of junior high school practice at, at Toingakuen? Or the Kagarigeko. toughest part? Kagarigeko. Kagarigeko always. Uh, yeah, I remember I used to be a motodachi for, for the Kakari Geiko there. I mean, I really liked it as well, to be honest. Although, if, I mean, I, I could go... To be motodachi more. then. Yeah, yeah. You liked yeah. it to be motodachi, but that, you know, that was that was tough always. Over the over the world, nothing has changed. Kakari Geiko <laughs> is the tough, toughest. Yeah, yeah. How about, okay, so in the in the prefectural championships, then you, you said you finished about eighth place and third place. How about like the Yokohama City Championships or the 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 coup the the 
how do you speak, the ward championships in Yokohama. How, how did you do in those? We got a third place also. So Yokohama is a kind of among the uh, strong, strongest uh, city, I mean, prefect, I mean, city in the prefecture. Mm-hmm. So Yokohama number one is the prefecture number one at the moment. Oh, okay. So you did, um, well, that's where we first met when you were at junior high school. So actually, um, I was your English teacher right. at junior high school when you were in your, in your third year. Correct. And correct. Uh, that's when I started at Torin. So I trained with you a little bit at the, the junior high school. And so if, if any of you are wondering why uh, Cole can speak such fantastic English, it's... Uh, Don't flatter me. <laughs> Uh, okay, so then you, after you spent three years at the junior high school, uh, you went to the high school. So, w- one usual thing about Toyin Gakuren is like for the for the the high school, many of the students are scouted from all around Japan. So, Correct. my first year there, in the in the high school club, there was one boy from Hokkaido. And another right. from Okinawa, you literally couldn't get further away from right. each other and pretty much from Yokohama at that Correct. point. And there, there wasn't really that many kids that go straight from the, the, the junior high school into the into the high school club. It's also another thing I think people should know that even in high school, there was like two kendo clubs. There's like the Correct. professional kendo club and then... The, the not professional one. I mean, they're still very serious, but there's um, kind of two. And that's the same for for rugby, judo, mm-hmm. baseball, football, swimming. Mm-hmm. They have the, the, the pro type club that they're scouted from all around Japan. Right. And right. then kind of the regular members club right. as well. But in, in from your year, I think there was you and one other boy that went from the junior high school into the, the pro type club, which was quite unusual. There's not so many that, that did that. Exactly right. So it was many kids who would like to go to Toin Gakuen High School. They are trying to uh, get a tryout uh, at the junior high. However, in my case, I chose to uh, be in a part of a high, uh, high school team. I get into uh, junior high, which is pretty rare uh, choice. Uh, usually take yeah there's there's often been some years where there's been no kids from the junior quite i think that was back then was more common that there's no kids going from the the junior high into into the high school right for example when you when you joined then into into the the high school roughly where were some of the kids other kids from if you remember yeah north part which is like fukushima or we have kyoto we have Ibaraki and Shizuoka. Wow. You're quite different, quite like in their country then. Yeah, sense. yeah, all, all over. Yep. Oh, oh actually, there's, there's one thing, uh, before we get too, too into the, the high school talk, I wanted to ask you about. So when, when you were in junior high school, you weren't actually living at home, were you? You lived in a dormitory, is that right? Correct. So how was that, being a, only 12 years old and, and being away from your being away from your family. It was tough. It was tough. Yeah, 12 years old kid, uh, went straight into the dorm and living like senpais together. Mm -hmm. And rules is really strict. Like back in the 20 years ago, like about 20 years ago, like rule was strict and it was tough. But the great thing is, Kids would like to be number one in the uh, kendo at the high school. Many of them are uh, take uh, choosing the boarding school like these days. Living with the uh, coach or living with the uh, like, you know, friends and friends, families, and but people are trying to go to the great school even far away from home. So that's a pretty common, and I took uh, uh, that choice. Great thing is. Uh, when I was in dorm, like 12 years old, I was also uh, in the same, same dorm as high school members. So professionals are doing a kind of like every single morning, wake up and running and suburi after uh, dinner. And so that was that was great uh, experience to me to see how 
how they can uh, be the number one. Right. W- would they ever join in? W- would they ever let you join in with them, like doing Subaru, or was it strictly? You no, know, no. At the moment, uh, they did. Yeah, they asked me to do it together, and also Kochi was there too. So I was, oh, okay. I was, I got the opportunity to do kendo, not like same level, but they're just doing the trying to. Mm-hmm. I got the opportunity there. Yes. Okay. So you after. So you're in the dorm there for three years, and then you went into the the high school. The high high school students usually live in the dorm as well. Is, did, did you carry on living in the dorm when you no. went to high school? Uh, no, actually, uh, three years in the dorm at the junior high school, but uh, uh, high school, no. Uh, I went back home and I just go to school every single day. Oh, well, I thought you were in the, the high school dorm for, for just a year, I thought, or, or, or two. But No, I, I didn't. I didn't. Why, why was that? Why did you? Because that, again, that's not, that's not too common. They, they, right, right. I, I remember hearing that even particularly for the, the baseball team, even if they, the kid li- lives literally next to the school, they, but still, still, they still have to live in the, in the dormitory. Exactly right. At a kind, uh, Kindle Club is the same thing in the high school. Like, m- like most of them are in the dorm. However, I was considering that uh, living in the dorm is great and members get together and focusing on the Kindle. However, I would like to consider also like schools and studies and I would like to take both way. So in order to make that happen, uh, I, I needed some space also, uh, you know, too, too, too close to Kendo is kind of losing something else. Uh, so you wanted to kind of also focus a, a, a more on your study as well, rather than just only Kendo. Yes, correct. Because people are coming from all over the country. They only focus on the Kendo. No school, to be honest, no school, just focusing on Kendo. Mm. Number one is everything. That's how they feel so mm-hmm. it's it's good thing it's good thing to be kendo like i i like it but uh at the same time i i have a different aspect mm-hmm. all right so we went from then the junior high school where you said there was probably about 30 kids over the three years yeah um what, what about the high school kind of um h- how many kids were in the, the high school club Ah, uh, that was that's a great question. Uh, we have only less than twenty. About less than twenty. So that's how how a, many how many like w- would have been in the in the first grade and how many in second and how many in third? Like about seven each. Then six, six or seven each. That's uh-huh. everything. That's everybody. The re- the reason is um, the Toingakuen is uh, focusing on winning. And so recruiting from over the countries. So if we did a lot of people coming into Toing Akwen, so many of them cannot be that uh, members. So it's it's tough for them. Parents paid a lot of money on this and let the kids go to the to- Toing Akwen and live in the dorm. However, possibility uh, to be the members are uh, very low if we gather a hundred and you know, members. So that's why uh, coach chose like very good ones, like only like five and six, seven around there. They get together so that very focused team and also a uh, menu of them. Uh, possibility of uh, to be the members is high as other, you know, big kendo school. So that's a very good point of towing up in. So how, how did the, how did the coach like choose the members that he he wanted for the team like uh went went to competition over the country in summer oh right, they, okay they are watching the kendo games and once game is done coach is going down the stairs and talk to the kid and you know request uh, him to uh, introduce our parents and sometimes coach goes to of course uh, goes to in their house and their dojos and Bring some, you know, omiyage, which is a present type thing. Mm-hmm. Then uh, convince. 
I know, I know that's the same for for the the baseball team as well. But the baseball, they have like so many more kids coming in for that. But right. All right. So you you went from like thirty kids in in the, the junior high school to a very focused right like, tw- twenty kids for the, for the high school. What what was the the, the kind of the, the big difference that you noticed between the, the going from junior high school to high school? Apart from the number of kids, okay. Uh, what, what's a big difference? It's something you noticed straight away. Okay, uh, the biggest difference is the objective itself, like what they see, what they like to be, is a totally different. Of course, yes, because you know uh, junior high, some of them are never uh, been trying the kendo before. But the high school ones, like every single person considers and thinking uh, to be the number one at the highest, in the high. That's the everything they uh, think. So our case, uh, we uh, did not really care if coach is there or not. Like we 120% focused on the practice like by, you know, peer, peer to peer. So that's a very... A big difference. Yeah. So the, there are several big high school level uh, tournaments. There's the, the Senbatsu, the yeah. invitational one that we, we just went to recently. Then you've got the the Kanto, yep. Kanto Taikai, Yokuruki, um, Inter High. And so is it, you just said like Inter High, that's the, that's the, the main one that everyone is aiming for. That's the, the most important one, would you say? Yes, the that's, most pre- that's, prestigious that, one. That's everything because that uh, inter high itself is the last one. Ah, for so for the the high school, it's in the summer. But after the the summer of your final year, the the third year is kind of retire, right? Or correct, correct. Oh, okay. All right. So um, you you went then into the into the high school. So you said you were practicing in, in junior high school, like, was it Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday? Yep. Maybe Saturday. Or Sunday, something like that. Yeah, five oh, okay. days a week. How about high school then? What's the, Ooh. what's that like? Easily seven days a week for sure. 24 seven. That That's uh, that's what it is. Just like US, you know, football and basketball and soccer and for England, something like very, very, uh, pretty common because people living in dome, like many of uh, our members is living in dome to be champion, uh, it, at the, in the high, that's the everything. Then why, why do we have to have like break or something? Only some occasionally after the competition, we have a uh, one day rest. So go to a movie, but the, in general, like, uh, let's say one day a month or two days a month uh, day offs. That's not everything we had. So I remember, yeah, sort of training there. So the junior high school would actually use the high school dojo on a Thursday. Right. Because Thursday was supposed to be your day off. But supposed still, to be. Anyway, most of the high school kids were just in there doing their own thing at the end. So that, the, the junior high school used to, train in a small arena called the sub arena like the small they have a huge sports center at toy and yep. in the basement level and next to that is the the, the kendo dojo yep. and uh, yeah the junior high school only used it once a week when you were supposed to be off but right you, you were just all still in there anyway exactly right and even exactly. sometimes when i'd go in really early in the morning to either take my kit in or We'll go to the training room. Even still, before lessons, a lot of the kids were in there just doing their own practice before right. lunch times as well. I saw, so it's yeah, pretty hard. Right. So the 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 junior high school practice was two hours a yep. day, but the high school was until six, so four o'clock until six twenty. Six six thirty. Six thirty. Six thirty. Two and a half hour in general. Okay, so what was then, obviously you said in, in the junior high school, like there's a lot of kids there that, uh, that's their very first experience of kendo, but obviously the high school is not like that because right. um, they're all, in a sense, I suppose, professional. So 
did you still do much kihonuchi in the uh, in the high school practice? No, like that. Not like that. More, more competitive uh, practice for there. All right. So what what was what would have been then a, a, a typical a typical Monday evening uh, a Monday after school practice? What would be a typical training menu for for that? Okay. Uh, at the four o'clock after the class, uh, we get together and start a stretchings like fifteen minutes with the music, like like loud music, like club type thing. Music uh, was there. It was pretty uncommon in Kindo, but uh, that was doing Akuen's very special point. So fifteen minutes stretch with music, and also we do a uh, fifteen minutes a uh, subri, not the super hard one, but uh, more like warming up type thing. To be honest. Afterwards, we have 4.30 to 5 o'clock. We do a uh, very uh, do kihonuchi, but the more, very only small ones, like chisai me, small menuchi, small koteuchi, or hikiwaza, like kaishido, like more focusing on kaishido, like very high, let's say, advanced uh, waza for kihonuchi uh, for 30 minutes. At the 5 o'clock, we have a uh, pattern uh, practice. Some uh, Monday, let's say, one per- like red, like one person has very small shinai. We have 30, min- 30 seconds or one minute just waiting. Like that guy needs to be uh, just kill the time to be tight. The other one is have long uh, sword, like usual sword. And I have to get the point. Like one minute, boom, quick, quick, quick. Oh, then, so one was using a kodachi? Kodachi, yes. Tanto, yeah, kodachi. Wow. That guy has to kill the time and just spend like one minute or 30 minutes just going away and protecting and everything. That's the, that's the objective. What, the what, other was, side is, what was the purpose of that particular training then? Okay. Two in the kendo... Sometimes we have to kill the time. Like opponent is coming like like without anything. Like they are not going to lose anything, but just they have to come to like get the point. In that case, we have to just protect like hundred percent. So, uh, from competitive perspective, uh, we have uh, like kind of escaping the go away and step. You know how to do the tsubazeri not to lose any points, something. That's the uh, case we need to understand from uh, Kodachi Keiko. All right, so um, just, just going back a bit before that, you said you, you spent some time doing Suburi. Yep. What, what was, the, what was the, the types of Suburi that you did? You said it wasn't particularly hard, or what were you doing? We have a big Suburi, like 100 times, like Sayumen, like hundred times and uh, uh, humikomi menuchi, like very knee, knee down, knee down, and humikomi. That was like hundred times and uh, haikaku, which is squatting suburi, like hundred times and. Well, that's with your legs out to the side. Legs out. Correct. Correct. Okay. Oh, you you said earlier it wasn't particularly difficult. That's already five hundred. I think you've just said you've yeah. just done then. I mean. Yeah, 500, uh, usually, like 15 oh, wow. minutes, yes. So then there was the the short sword, or the ta- tanto defense? Yes, tanto defense, right. And any other types of uh, training in that part? Hikiwaza, hikiwaza uh, patterns. All we do is just hikiwaza ippon shobu. Like, both, of, both sides has to uh, hit, so that... Uh, you know, we had a good, like, a lot of opportunities. So, like, Hikiwaza and then the girl, Hikiwaza and then the girl, like, Tsubazeri girl, Tsubazeri girl, something like this. So, that more like, not the defensive uh, perspective, but the uh, aggressive point, you know, perspective to get the point. So, the, the purpose of that Hikiwaza Keiko, you were only allowed to do Hikiwaza to try and Correct. support Ippo. And that's, that's to, what is it, increase your competitiveness? Uh, you understand it's correct, yes. Uh, okay. So roughly how long would you would you be doing that for? Like, like 10 thir- minutes, 15 minutes? Like quick one minute for like 10 times and something around there. 
So you just move move around like Mawari Gecko, but but correct, the, oh, correct, okay. correct. Kodachi, uh, ten minutes something, and we have uh, the we had Iponshobu stuff. Ah, so I, I, Ippon Shobu Keiko. Oh, Ippon, yeah, like oh, one okay. minute, one minute Ippon Shobu, like quickly, quickly. Then about the forty-five minutes, uh, like total, like Kodachi, Hikiwaza, and Ip, one minute uh, Ippon Shobu with peers. Okay, I remember in the in the junior high school sometimes if you. Uh, Lost in your ippon shobu, you had to do kakari geko. Was right, that, was that the same in the uh, in the in the high school as well? No, no, we didn't have like that. Oh, okay. Uh, so one way it then in which the the high school was a little bit easier than the junior high school. You can say <laughs> so. Yes. <laughs> All right. So that was the um, yeah hikiwaza practice ippon shobu. Um, there was another one that I think you wrote an article for us um, several years ago about high school kendo. You said that last minute of match, Keiko? Yeah. What was yeah. that then? Last minute match of Keiko is uh, kind of close, similar to uh, Kodachi uh, types. But uh, like 30 minutes, one minute, like one side has to get the point. One side has to protect the point. So that's... That's what we do. Ah, so, okay. So, like, one of you is, like, maybe defending a Nippon Correct. and the other one needs to get a Nippon to, to either draw or win. Correct. Ah, uh, I see, I see. So, it, it seems then that, like, like you did, the, you said saying the Hikiwaza Keiko, the Tanto practice, Ippon Shobu, and then the last minute of, mm. uh, last minute of a match practice. Right. That seems all very like shiai centric like it, it's all about all about winning so th those four types of keiko then did, did they have a like a really big effect on on your kendo and your ability in in competitions i truly think so truly think so of course kihonguchi a lot of spirits very very important but uh competitive wise kendo is a little little different so, uh, towing high schools, focusing on a, a competitive-wise kendo uh, practice. So that was a uh, big effect uh, on me. So this this type of regimen then that, that you've you've just described, like first of all, uh, doing stretching with hip hop music, yeah. and then a uh, suburi, and uh, then some different types of waza practice, and then these right. types of shiai practice. Was that the same every day? Quite, or, or quite much. Different days focus on different things. I mean, Kihongchi and the Waza uh, is is quite same, quite same. But uh, uh, competitive wise practice is uh, like little different day by day. So okay. very very big one uh, example is you know Tanto like short sword and Hikiwaza practice. But the um, menu itself uh, is a little different in there competitive so, but, practice. For example, like in in order to get into the inter high, you need to win the Kanagawa Championships Correct. to get into the inter high. Correct. So, let's say you're going, you're you're getting ready to go to into the Kanagawa Championships. The closer you get to the, the that competition, does your training menu uh, change slightly? A great question. Yes. How, in what way does it does it change? Uh, okay, fall and, fall and winter, we focus in on Kakari Geiko Oikomi super much because we uh, do, did not really have a big competition there. So that's very fundamental, like uh, Kendo Ashi, like steps and like training, like workout type thing, are very, very focused. So fall that, that's in, in fall and winter. Correct, correct. So there's no big competitions around then. So, oh, okay. Correct, correct. It's a kind of seasonal thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then, spring and summer, we focusing on a very competitive practice. As I said, uh, waza, like kiwaza practice and defending and offending uh, offensive practice and 
like last mi- uh, minute match practicing something like that that's that's a great question yes so the 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 inter high is in the summer um, yes, but, yes, and yes. That, that would then mean that the the the, the prefectural championships is a, a month or a couple of months before that i guess june june and then Gyo- gyokuriki is uh, july july Oh wow! So that's that's a pretty hardcore from from April. It's just tournament, 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 tournament. Exactly right. Exactly right. So yeah, even though, um, like I said, Thursdays was supposed to be your day off, but you were still you were still most people were still training anyway on a Thursday. Right. Did Did you ever get fatigued? Was there any times when you? you just really needed a break or were you just always able to just keep on going? Uh, yeah, we, we need a little rest. We would like to watch the YouTube sometimes, but uh, if we didn't go to a hospital or something, big issues there, other than that, um, like atmosphere itself, like others are doing kendo, then what are you doing? Others are practicing and then you what? Something like, like kind, that kind of atmosphere is there. So uh, peer-to-peer, uh, you know, pressures and... Peer pressure, uh, right. Yeah. Actually, now, now you mentioned that, like, unless you go to hospital, but I, I remember b- being there and seeing some high school boys that had, um, I don't know, maybe done their Achilles tendon or a knee injury, yeah, and so they couldn't do footwork, but they would just be sitting on a chair in the dojo, yeah. just still doing suvari for the, for the entire time. Exactly everyone right. else is training. Or well, once I yeah. saw a boy with a with a broken arm, or his arm was in a sling, yep. just doing um, just doing katate suvari against the you know using the the, the tire, yep. hitting that, and uh, yeah, pretty hardcore. Even even though you had a broken bone, you'd still be. It's still be going to uh, still be going to training. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's wow. pretty common. So, were there any particular types of diet, or it, it may be like energy drinks, or mm. that type of thing that you you started to have on the way up to a tournament or during tournaments? We drinking the proteins every single day for sure. And the school would supply them to you? Um, no, no, like. Personally, by you know, each one of us just buys, you know, that's that's it. But uh, to recover or to gain the uh, weight and the muscles, uh, we ha- we take our proteins every single day. And also, uh, members are living in dome together, so small kids are kind of uh, not the first, but uh, senpai just come into the small kids and. Senpai just uh, put the uh, rice or, or on the plate. Senpai is, uh, you know, put the rice on the plate uh, for the small kid, which is like mountain, like Mount Fuji. Like, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we are really uh, enforced uh, to eat a lot when I was in high school. So even though you, you were not living in the dorm while you were at high school, did you still eat the evening meal at the school before going home? Once in a while, yes. Oh, once in a while, okay. So you, I, I guess you just missed your, your mum's cooking then and that why you... Right. So w- would your mum then prepare any any special types of food for you to help you with your training or...? Thank you. Uh, veggie juice. You know, we took so much uh, trainings and like... Uh, body is kind of dying like every single day after the training of course so we're trying like meat meat rice and uh, veggie juice like every single day but the super train if you train the super hard like n- was not hungry occasionally right mm-hmm. do, do you know what i'm trying to say but uh uh she forced me or like coach forced me like you have to eat it like american football team in the united states like it, it, it. I remember, I remember seeing on on the TV here a while back, like the the Koshien mm. baseball tournament is the big one of the big sporting events in Japan. Never mind just for high school, but it's the high school baseball championships, and they they would do a profile of each of the different 
teams and one of the, the, the managers of one team, he made his kids eat four bowls of rice like every evening with a, with a, uh, with their evening meal. And he would sit by the, the rice cooker with yeah. a checkboard. Yeah. Whenever a kid had to come up, he would check their name off like for, for four. Pass, pass, right? Yeah. Or yeah. you, you've only had three bowls. Get over here to get another one. It was that time. Exactly right. It, you, that's exactly the same thing. You had the same thing in the in the kendo club there? We got the exactly same thing, yes. Wow. So you, you were you would also be training before school and you would also do lunchtime training and after school? Morning, well? morning training, yes. Wow. So... yeah. It, it, but generally, you still had enough time to relax to do what you wanted to do, or it was just only kendo, kendo, kendo. Uh, like for three years, yes, only kendo. That's everything we had. So it's pretty common for kendo, like good school members are focusing on kendo. Mm. So I remember in, in the article that you wrote some time ago, you said that when you, you joined into the, the high school team, so you were one of kind of one of the weaker kids and not very big, but you started doing your own training in order to outside of the club in order to build yourself up and get stronger. Mm. What what were the, the things that you were doing for that? I was doing a workout, like like workout. So uh, p- p- pumping on, sure. yeah, oh, okay, yeah, lifting. So I I don't know what do you think, but uh, in general, kendo is not uh, like a workout and lifting type thing. Not the muscle related, but uh, kendo practice is coming from kendo. That's like many people uh, consider. But uh, I was thinking that uh, kendo culture itself is really good. But uh, to win the comp- in competition, it's a different things. We do kendo, but also just as other sports. You know, we are just, you know, push-ups and lifting and big guys. And that's a uh, big factor. I considered uh, it's a good thing. And also I took it and then I, you know, improved a lot. Uh, you know. did, did your studies like in English and science and maths and that, how did you manage to keep up with those uh, during high school? Considering you're doing... Training, morning, lunchtime, after school, then you're doing your own extra practice. How, how did you manage to, to keep up with everything? I was been doing at the lunchtime, like while eating lunch, while eating dinner, or sometimes uh, I took a train uh, to go to school. So like while I was in a bus and train, that, that's, the, that's the only time I can uh, make a uh, full study. Wow. But that, that was... That was uh, hectic. I couldn't uh, get back to that moment again, though. Oh, so you, you then, I think it was in your final year when you were in, in uh, the third year, that then you then managed to become a, a starting member in the yep. team. So how, how did that final year... So you said, like, the, the big competitions kind of start from April. Yep. Um, so and, and finish in the summer. Now, if you're in the third year, that's pretty much you're over then in, in the end of the summer, don't you? You, you kind of retire then. So right. how, how did, um, was it five months from April until the summer? How, how did they go for you, like competition-wise? Uh, I was I was simple, like every single game. I was never uh, a bench. I was not kicked out. Like I was staying the regulars. Wow. But uh, very unfortunately, our our grade let's say our year was not the super great as uh, uh others compared to uh senpais so we couldn't go to senbatsu taikai which is the national uh championship we, we couldn't make that happen in uh spring however we have been training and focus on uh, what we have been doing and uh end up with uh, uh kaiseki Akita Kaiseki is the one of the uh, national uh, championships. We got the third place. And Kanto Taikai, Kanto competition, uh, we got the third place. And in the high, we got the second place. So quite just going up a little by little. Then uh, we end up with uh, second place in the, na- uh, in the nation. 
that that was 2009 was it the, Correct. 2009 the inter high in um in osaka Correct. who who was the opposing team mito kiryo ah mi, mito mito oh pretty strong as well y- yeah we were close though about there mm 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 so what was that a really good memory then for you like finishing second in the inter high it's not quite what you wanted obviously i mean you all worked hard to get to get into first place but uh, you didn't quite make it quite satisfied yes uh at my my year uh mito uh team was uh, super great uh and everybody expected that they are winning but we we uh, about there about there and so end up with a uh, second but uh, everybody's pretty satisfied with that. Mm-hmm. So that was your last big tournament then the Inter High was your last one? Yes, while yes. You were there. So what is the what usually happens then after the after the summer so like the 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 third grade the high school third grade boys they kind of supposed to focus a bit more then on uh passing the entrance exams for uni- university so then it's the the first and second year students that kind of then become the main members of the team is that right correct you understand is correct yes if uh if you are senior year and you are not in a regular team uh people just started uh study i mean gave up with the kendo and move move on to a uh, study that's usually happens Okay. We've actually uh, just had a question come in about you just mentioned that you were the simple for for that in, for, for for your when you're in the third grade. So is there are there any any things that you tell yourself as a simple before the match? Is there anything that because you're the first person. Right. So you you it's up to you to try and set the pattern for the rest of the team. Um that's a, obviously a very important position. Right. So how did you prepare yourself for being senpo all the time? Would you have preferred also to have moved a bit further up like to Jiho or or Chuken? So, right, uh, that's a good question. Uh I was thinking senpo uh, as you said uh, the very first one and I'm just considered I considered a senpo as a game maker. It's like atmosphere like let's say flows and what's what's going on afterwards it's like simple starts everything then what i have been thinking is uh not to not to uh not to be afraid of losing but just make make everybody's you know cheer up like oh who is doing like best he's best so that even he lose that's okay just we we can take back again so something like we i focus in on to make a uh, good atmosphere for the teams so to make that happen uh i've been kind of talking a lot to uh my teams not to focus on myself but just like like smiling and talking and relaxing that's the way uh, i would like to uh, take uh before match as a simple okay so that was your uh last experience of the of the of being in the, the competition then was was at the inter high so w- what did you spend until you until you graduated which would have been 6 7 months after that D- did you go to training less or were you still expected to to turn up every every day as you had been doing a uh, good question after summer uh not actually like kind of our like senior year has been kind of uh, retired from kendo like focus in the study and pass the exam for the college and three times a day i don't know three times a week two times a week just go to dojo and do keiko with the kohai but not much as uh we have been do uh, we have done uh, before to study mostly okay so it, at that time then it was kind of more rather than competing your responsibility is then to to lift up your your kohai to try and make yeah. them make them better correct correct and w- were you able to do that did was it yeah. an easy easy task to to get them motivated yeah our you was not the great not that good as other senpais and in the high second was uh 
more than we expected, to be honest. So, Kohai, uh, younger, so I think that we could make that happen too. That called Tabata Senpai made that happen. We could do that. And also, I told them that the same way too. I could do it, and then now you cannot do it.、Mm-hmm. So, lift it up. Then,、uh, but the Keiko was tough though. Kakari Geiko Motodachi, myself, and、uh, oh, Kohai didn't like it at all. Oh, well. But yeah, but had a good communication, and we could see if we do that much, then what we can be like. So, we could see the very clear views on this at the high school. We have been done that much, then we could reach、uh, that high. So that's a good,、uh, pretty common sense in our、uh, team.、Mm-hmm. So, what, why then, in your opinion, do you think that t o w i n was able to become so strong and,、uh, and, and remain strong for, for a long time? What, what's, their, what's their kind of secret, I suppose? Toin Gakuan、uh, took a modern way, like sports way, than other、uh, very strong、uh, schools. For example, as、uh, you know, usually Kendo team has you know, shaved their hairs and、uh, no girlfriends and、uh, pretty, pretty tight, you know, strict.、Uh, even in、uh, like、life, like daily life. However, t o i n g a k a is、uh, more flexible and t a k e like European sports way, you know, U- US sports way. Relaxing, trainings, and, and stuff. So that was pretty、uh, good for junior high schools over the world,、uh, over the country. Then that's, that's why coach could, like, you know, select and get back to the t o i n g And the junior high kids also would like to go. Wow, that was cool school. It's a. Little different from normal Kendo teams. Wow. I mean, I, I, I found it quite funny how you just said it was kind of a bit more relaxing than other schools. I mean, it certainly didn't look like it that the times I saw that the training and knowing how much that, how much that you're there.、Oh, sorry, once again. Sorry. So you, you just mentioned about how, how it was、uh, relaxing, more relaxed than other schools. And I was quite surprised that you would say that was a bit more, more relaxed. Yeah, I was just tough. I was, our practice is tough.、Uh, I couldn't make that、uh, again. However, other schools are way more tough than we did,、wow. to be honest. That's what, I, that's what we feel. Okay. Like, t- time wise, like three hours, four hours a day, something like that. But towing up is two and a half hours only. I, just, I imagine, even though it's short, I just super focused for those、right. two exactly and a half、right. hours. Exactly right. Yeah, it's one thing I, I think I remember. You, you wrote in your article that even though there was kind of a little break between some, between what was it, Suburi and another type of practice, or you'd have a, a 10 minute break, but there was no there was no goofing off, there was no laughing and joking. It was, oh, zero. There was some, was... I, I used to train at the high school on the Wednesday evenings, which is when you'd have the girls' school come and join in. Right. And I'd be in the teachers' training room and I'd I, I could hear nothing. So I was wondering, are they, are they actually training today? But then I'd, I'd walk in, and even though you're in, on a break, yeah, just in, in the girls and the boys, so maybe 40 kids in total, just、mm. it was dead silence, dead silence. So that's a different thing as well. Yeah, on, on、um, Wednesday evenings. So at t o i n g a k u i n the boys' school and girls' school are, are、yep. separate. They're, at, they're not, not anymore, but. Back that time, they're on separate campuses. Yep. Once a week, both the girls, the, the boys' school and the girls' school would meet up for, for training. Yep. How, how was that being able to train with the, with the girls as well?、Uh, high school kids, <laughs> you know, like high school boys, and like once a day, train with the girls. Yes, everybody's、uh, liked it though. Right. So it said that,、um, yeah, you weren't able to. So, at some schools, you were not able to have girlfriends, but, but at t o i n g a k u i n that was, that was okay? Yeah. Oh, wow. Usually, the coach says,、uh, like, boys have to have a girlfriend to, to be strong. That's what he said. So, it's pretty weird、uh, 
It's a little different from other strong Kendo teams. Mm. Focus on Kendo only, no girls, like, no, but uh, all schools, okay. So after after your high school time then, you, usually a lot of the boys and the girls as well actually at Toin, they go on to some of the big uh, Kendo universities like Scuba or Kokushikan yeah. or Hosei. Uh, but you didn't do that. You did something very different. You went to university in America. So what what was the what was the reason behind that? Why did you decide to do that? At the very first choice, I was planning. I would I'd like to go to the school in Japan, Waseda University, with the kendo. So I would love to go there. However, I couldn't make that happen uh, because of this. <laughs> not the smart enough at the moment then uh, I was kind of depressed at the moment like even when I have been doing the kendo then got the second place however still uh, Waseda didn't cho- uh, chose me so in order to uh, make change uh, I have to uh, take some uh, different uh, you know decisions that others and others cannot take then okay from now on, Japan will go to the very, very global uh, world. And English has to be not like want to, but uh, have to have. We have to have English. That's, I thought that then I took a challenge. So where, where did you end up in America? What university? University of South, um, University of Missouri. Missouri State. And what was your what was your major or what were you studying there? I was majoring in international business and uh, sales management. Wow, very difficult. <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, that was that was great uh, to learn English and also we did not we did not really have uh, Japanese uh, people students there, so it was good for me to communicate with not only like Americans and international students. So. So I understand that you, you didn't really have much time for kendo while you were there. It wasn't, how often were you training? Once a month? Something like that, wasn't it? Like once a, once a uh, three months and four months. Wow. That's everything. I have to drive up to Chicago, which is like uh, 500 miles away, like uh, 800 kilos away. But that's the closest one, dojo at the moment. But uh in the trainings myself doing the subway and also i've been doing the judo in the united states so like f- focus on more like like focus on like our you know like body conditions like lift up and strong and then uh, sometimes kendo and remember here's the kendo how we do something like this every single time i was trying to remember that so you're even though your your training wasn't you you weren't in a in a kendo dojo very often you were still just doing subari on your own time and and doing judo as well. So um, tell us about the was it the AUSKF Championships? What was it? Two thousand ten, two thousand eleven that you went into? Uh US Kendo Championship. Yeah, the US Championships. Yeah. How yeah, that was uh, 14, 2014, back oh, in the right. seven years ago. And uh, how did you do in that? I got the second place. Uh, that was that was great, yeah. I ran up, uh, I fought with uh, uh, Jan, Christopher Jan and Brandon, Jason, like all US uh, members uh, together. Oh, so you you fought three of the three of the team in uh, the, the American team. Yeah, in that championships. I, yep, yep. You know Jason. Jason Brown. Ah, oh, Jason Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so you fought. Who was it you fought in there? Is it J- Jason Brown, Chris Yang, and uh, Brandon? Brandon, Brandon, and uh, Sandy, Sandy. Sandy Ma- Maria. Mariama. Oh wow! And you you finished second in second. Yeah, um, I think the big the big result from that was you you beat Christopher Yang in the semi final. Was was that right? The semi final or quarter final? Quarter final. Wow, that was that was good. Yeah, 
he didn't know me at the moment, but I could see him there. I I I know who he is. Oh well, yeah, he's ve very well known around the right. world. So right. in America as well, yeah. Right. So you after so you did very well in the 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 American Championships. So you think your your toy and training helped you do do well in that? A lot, a lot. Even like, unfortunately, I couldn't have much opportunity to uh, train a kendo in the United States. However, still, like, my brain is remembered, like, how, how to, you know, how to compete, like, how to win and what the trainings we I need to have. So I can take that uh, by myself. And yeah, so that was, that was, yeah, Toyin's experiences a lot of part. Of the part. Mm -hmm. So then you you came back to Japan and you're now working uh, in finance in Tokyo. Is that right, Tokyo? Yep. Yes. Are you are you finding much time to train now? Yeah, sometimes yes. Not like as crazy as high school, but uh, yeah, as a hobby. Yeah, I've been I've been still uh, training. Obviously, with uh, with COVID nineteen at the moment, things are. Uh, there's there's not that many trainings on at the moment, but uh, right. I'm glad that you're you're still able to you're still doing it. Have you ever been Have you been back to Toy and Gakuen at all since you've come back for for any trainings? Not the, for the oh, like once when once I've been there, yeah. I, I believe is it is it the beginning of the year or the end of the year? They have an or, or be kite like the, all yes. the old members get together. together. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. Correct. Wow. Well, I think we've covered a huge amount of uh, ground here today, and um, I think it's been really interesting. And hopefully, the people watching this video have, from your talk have been able to get a really good insight into the uh, the, the toughness and the, the training menus that you need and, and do at, at, at high school level. Uh, I think probably many many of us that that don't live in Japan would be really jealous about hearing the uh, the training that you've gone through, and obviously what a great effect it's had in in your later in your later life. Um, is there anything you'd like to say before we before we hang up? If I have a kid, uh, of course, yeah, I would like uh, my kids uh, to do kendo with me. Course, but uh, not as crazy as I had done. I I had a lot of things. I gained a lot of things, but uh, I lost a lot of things too, like but stress and uh, stress and uh, like study wise and I like put everything into kendo. So, but the kendo itself is uh, great sports and Japanese customs, and then I have been experiencing a lot too. So I'd like to uh, do that with my. Uh, kids eventually yes great all right well co uh thank you very much for spending uh just over an hour on a sunday evening with us talking about no and uh yeah it's been a really interesting and a great insight into uh, high school kendo in japan so uh tabata ko thank you very much thank you so much for having me it's such a great opportunity Fantastic. appreciate that okay